hi guys this is naresh welcome back to my channel technical talks with naresh so today i am just continuing with the part 3 features in otbi reports okay so in my first part and the second part what we had seen so we had just created one otbi report and we had seen the different types of feature for that how to apply the filter how to change the fonts how to copy the font how to apply the conditions and different types of a thing we had seen after that we had also seen how to create the dashboard for the OTBA report how to create the dashboard prompt and other things as well now in this video we are just seeing that how to use the dashboard for the drill down report okay and how to call the multiple OTBA reports on a single dashboard okay so for that first of all i'm just going to the home screen of my field instance so here i'm just going to navigator and I'm just going to the tools and uh, here is a report and analytics so I'm just clicking on report and analytics and here is a browse catalog so it will open my catalog page so in my part 1 and part 2 I had created this supplier and invoice report then after I had just created this respective supplier dashboard prompt and then I had just created this respective supplier and invoice dashboard okay so what is my agenda first i will tell you that so if i am just opening this dashboard so it is no result so then i have to select some supplier to get the data suppose i am selecting all the suppliers click on apply then after i am just getting this detail suppose i just want to see more detail of the supplier so for this supplier if i'm just clicking on any of that respective supplier then it have to prompt me some other page and it have to show me the respective supplier details okay so for that we are just creating now supplier report first okay for that i'm just writing at the create analysis and here is a supplier here i can select any type of an supplier subject area I'm just selecting here supplier, supplier real time. So it will redirect me on the OTBI report creation page. Before going forward, just I have to say that if you are new on my channel and you want to learn the Oracle Fusion, so you can just go to the Oracle Fusion playlist, which is on my channel, which will help you to learn the Oracle Fusion. If you have any doubts, you can just write me into the comment section of any video. Or you can email me as well so continue to topic so here we are creating the supplier report so I'm just taking some columns from this respective supplier let me just expand this bit and here is a supplier profile suppose I am just taking here to the S section with supplier name number status supplier type is also there but we will not take supplier type uh, and uh, other detail supplier sites so take something from supplier sites take from something general supplier site code i'm just taking and here supplier addresses address address line one and take its email id status again i'm just minimizing this all things and just check the result first so we are getting this details i think so email is always null bit side code is also null in most of the cases so we'll just go here here we will remove this one this email as well let's go to the address again just take the address name again before everything save this report first of all Click on save, save here the supplier detail report. Copy the same into the description section and click on OK. 
now it is save just try to do the results so you can see the results as well so now what we will do we will just call this respective supplier report or that respective invoice supplier report okay so what i will just do i am just going to the catalog so we have to do some of the changes for this reports first of all so what change we have to do so this is my prompt so i have to edit this prompt first of all okay so i'm just clicking on edit i'm just clicking here and i'm just clicking on the edit icon and here i'm just going to the options here set variable so here i'm just selecting the presentation variable and here i will just give the presentation variable name suppose i'm just giving v underscore supplier details okay i'm just copying this one and pasting on my one notepad okay and uh, i will just click on ok then i will just save this respect to prompt okay now this first my prompt is modified now what we have to modify on the supplier invoice report so for that i'm just going to the catalog first and there is the supplier invoice report so i'm just editing this one okay and here i'm just going to the criteria now what we have to change on this particular report so so i'm just clicking on the setting icon of the supplier then here is a column properties then here is an interaction and here i have to click on add so what we have to do add we are just adding some link okay so why because once i clicked on this button it have to navigate to some other report that's why i'm just selecting this one so here i can give any name like i am giving supplier detail okay and here on the action link click on this plus click on navigate to bi content bi content means we are just navigating to some report so which report we are navigating so we have to give the path of that report so it is in my shared folder and it is in the folder custom so i'm just opening this custom and here the folder name is test one so here is in test one and here is a supplier detail report so same report i have to choose click on ok so you can see it's came now we'll just click on ok here as well here as well click on ok and this also ok now save this report one more time now what we have to do, do so i have to just go to catalog again this time i have to edit the supplier report now so i'm just going to edit the supplier report here i'm just going to the criteria here i'm just adding one filter on this respective supplier name column okay so what is this filter so is equals to and here i'm selecting okay here we don't have to select anything i'm just selecting the add more options and here is my presentation variable and presentation variable which presentation variable we had created so same variable we have to just right here make sure that you are not making any spelling mistake or anything just copy paste that team click on ok just save this respective report as well okay now i'm just going to the catalog again we'll test it now so before this testing what we had did so first of all i will just note it down few things here so we had created first report report one which is in supplier invoice and invoice report then the dashboard prompt then the dashboard this is done so this is from my part one and part two okay in this part three what we did so first of all we had edited the dashboard prompt edit dashboard prompt and add the presentation variable okay then after edit the supplier report and add the action link and six is again create a supplier report with filter on supplier column now test the same dashboard 
so we don't have to do any changes on the dashboard I'm just going on the dashboard I'm just clicking on open so you can see everything is coming now if I am just going here, this supplier column. So you can see now it's become as then hyperlink. This other columns, and I'm just moving my cursor on that respect to particular text. So it is not giving me anything. But when I click on this supplier name, any supplier name, so it's working as an hyperlink. Now I will just click on this respect to hyperlink. So you can see that supplier detail, this prompt is coming. We had given this into the interaction hyperlink. So when I clicked on this one it will redirect me on some other page okay so here is no detail so just let me try back so here i'm just trying to the del inc so here also no detail so there is some issues with this report so let me check on the notepad anything we had missed so one more thing we have to do here that is the step six just copying this and I'm just adding it this as in step six, this is seven, and this is eight. So here I did the supplier invoice report to add the filter on the supplier column. So this step we had missed. So so I'm just going back to catalog page. So here I'm just editing the supplier invoice report. And here also on that respective supplier name column, we have to add that filter. So I'm just going to the criteria, going to the filter. I'm just going to the filter as a supplier. Here again, I'm adding add more. Then again, presentation variable. Here also, we have to give the same presentation variable. So let me just copy this from here. Testing it here. Click on just OK now just try to save this now just uh, go to the catalog page again just try to open the dashboard so it's loading just click here all suppliers click on apply so you can see supplier data loaded now just click on the supplier click on supplier details yeah so this time you can see the data is coming so we had missed that one step that's why it was not coming so, so for cdw we have this four addresses that's why four entry are coming you can click on return button so go back if i'm just clicking on dell inc then click on supplier details so it will just redirect me again to the next supplier page where it will show me all the respective sites detail for the dell okay so this is for the dell this is for the supplier status and this is their site status okay so by this way we can just create the multiple drill down reports as well okay so here again what you can just do i'm just returning here and you can just create the same drill down report for this invoice as well so you can just create the new report for this respective invoice detail and you can just add that respect to as the interaction over here Okay, so that you can just do. I'm just hoping that all will try this one at their own and you can let me know if you face any type of an issue over there. Okay, so that's it in this video. So please like, share, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.